River Project said this morning that the St. Mary siphon on the St. Mary Canal north of the community of Babb suffered what's called a catastrophic failure. It reportedly happened while the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation personnel was monitoring a crack. The agency said no one was hurt, but the damage is extensive. The canal was shut down prior to the failure, but the hillside and nearby Hooks Hideaway Bar, Hotel and Roping Arena all have been significantly impacted by the water. People are asked to stay out of the area as they're still evaluating the extent of that damage. The Bureau of Reclamation said in a news release that the breach caused local flooding and erosion with some areas, resulting in washout areas estimated to be 30 to 50 feet deep. Diversions to the canal were 600 cubic feet per second. At the time of the failure, diversions have been stopped, but uh, flows are expected to continue for as long as 24 to 36 hours while the canal drains. The breach has affected residents and surrounding communities directly or indirectly. Emergency response teams and law enforcement officials are involved in the response efforts. Well, while many parts of the country bake in scorching heat, we're getting some much needed precipitation. For a first check of the forecast, let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. That's right, we have been receiving some very beneficial precipitation during the day today with widespread precipitation throughout the entire state of Montana. That precipitation has been in the form of rain in the lower elevations with snow in the mountains. And we're still seeing that rain right now in the lower elevations within north central Montana. Heaviest rain is currently just to the north and east of Great Falls as well as over in Valley and Phillips counties. During the day today, the heaviest rainfall has been right around and just to the west of Great Falls with over a half inch of precipitation in Great Falls and Augusta during the day today. Lower rainfall amounts throughout much of the rest of the state. It's also been chilly today and right now we're only in the mid to upper 40s and lower 50s and it's been a little bit breezy as well and still hanging on to a breeze in the eastern part of the state right now. Showers are likely as we head into tomorrow, and there will continue to be areas of rain and mountain snow around throughout the night tonight. And I'll more details about this wet weather in my full forecast in a few minutes.